Hey, this is the video, Friday Journal, where I normally talk about my week and uh, what I've written in my own personal journal about feeling grateful, reviewing my life, what I would do differently. And as I've been doing videos over the years, I've really wanted to reach the point where I have greater peace in my life. I keep thinking that there is some miraculous formula where you can be a single mum of four kids and it can all just flow like a stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily down the stream and everything's okay. And life, it's just not like that. And I, I'm not quite sure why I struggle to to come to grips with that. I love to meditate and I love to be in the moment. And having children just rips the moment away from you, rips it away and gets your plans and throws them away. But the irony is that being a mum and having kids is the greatest source of my happiness and the greatest source of my frustration. <laughs> Saying that, I'm determined to find a pathway where there's a balance, and in some ways I'm getting there. Having twin boys that have just turned 10, they, they add to the challenge because they can be really naughty. I'm behind with videos. I should have loaded last Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and I didn't and I really wanted to. I had one boy that was sick and then over the weekend I had more dynamics and then on Saturday I got sick and my voice completely disappeared. So I kept thinking tonight when the kids go to sleep I'll do an audio or video and the other issue I have living in this house that I'm just going to put on the table for you is that I live close to two quarries. Now literally out the window I can see, almost see the driveway where entering the quarries. So they might be possibly 600 metres away. So every day there's quarry trucks, quarry trucks. When a quarry truck goes past the vibrations, I don't always hear when I'm doing the video, but when I play it back it affects the entire video. And I might load one in every five videos because I have to throw the others away. And I love doing videos and I love my new schedule. But I also have to live with the life that is. And I'm throwing away a lot of videos. It's a lot of time. I do need to move from this place. Two freeways, 500 meters from a major road. Um, some very interesting neighbors uh, about at the end of the street that at night enjoy drag racing <laughs> it's kind of funny because can you imagine a single mum here trying to get her act together and trying to make money and um, <laughs> trying to get everything together the balance and the only time I can really do audios is at night and then we have interesting neighbours doing drag races and the police aren't coming to, to do anything about it. So what do you do? You have to laugh. But when I connect with you via Friday Journal, I feel like we're sitting down together over tea and I really enjoy it. So there was no way I could have done it last Friday. So I'm going to endeavour to catch up with the videos. We'll see how we go. So, life over the weekend was wonderful and hectic. I'm going to share some of it with you because we did a couple of, my daughter took some videos, so I'm just going to chunk them on the end so you can see a little bit about how the weekend went. I, uh, two beautiful artists, Tian Baker and Xanthi Dobie, did two digital uh, art pieces, portraits on me and other well-known YouTubers uh, in 
Victoria, I met some beautiful YouTubers. That was part of the Next Wave Festival. So I'm putting some video there about that. And uh, that was really exciting for us. And the children and I drove into the city to have a look at their art pieces. And taking four children in one car for a 70-minute drive there and back, that's just... <laughs> wonderful. And then at the end of that... I took them to a Hare Krishna temple for dinner because I like to open my children up to different ways of living and to keep their minds open. And I think there's lots of beauty, beautiful things about the Hare Krishna movement. It's a very gentle movement. They're vegetarian. They're very kind. Uh, all their beliefs are based on peace. And it's very communal. So we went to a dinner. And that was just wonderful, really, really exciting, a lovely addition to our, our lives and our experiences. Okay, the book. The book is so finished, but we're struggling over a table that isn't aligned correctly. So I make a suggestion. I send it to the beautiful formatters. They're lovely. They send it back. And each send is two days, two days. If there's a little mistake of a comma, two days, two days. This has been a learning experience for me and I know next time what it entails. So, yes, I'm very frustrated. I've journaled that I've learnt from that, that I need to allow four months for formatting, and I've also learnt a lot about formatting. So I've journaled this week in my journal about patience, learning about patience, about preparation, about the fine line balance between the hectic nature of life, the menu of life, and what we can achieve. And I started something really interesting that I wanted to share with you. I've started to meditate uh, every day and I've made a personal commitment to me, to, uh, to myself, which you may want to include yourself and join in. I'm going to meditate for a minimum of 60 minutes every day for six months. Now, this is my 10th day today and I've journaled how that's gone. So that's my progress with the meditation will be in the next book. The next book is about reducing stress. And I'll be writing about that. If you want to help me, subscribe to this channel. That's a big help to me. So I know so many of you ask, how can we help? At this stage, subscribe to my channel and share my videos and let people know if or how I help you. Because that helps me Oh, infinitely. And it's a big gift to me. So if you want to help, press the subscribe button and share the videos. So would you like to meditate with me? Would you like to come on this journey and meditate every day, six months? I'll be referring to it regularly. I'm journaling about it. And so far, it's really changed my life. I'll let you know in future videos how, but it's really changed my life. And... I've learned so much about different types of meditation as well. We're considering as a family going vegetarian, possibly going vegan. I'm a huge meat eater, huge meat eater. And I'll do another video about this. I've always enjoyed meat and I think that there's lots of benefits in eating meat. Why I'm considering changing is I don't feel that we have the option anymore to eat meat. And I haven't made that decision yet. I'm processing. So I'm thinking. I love a steak. A blue steak is one of the highlights of my life. It, it honestly is. But what eating meat is doing to our planet with the damage done and the careless treatment of animals and the disrespect to life we need to do things differently we need to, we need to do the things differently now so I'm also going to chat with you about that for now I'm going to leave you to look at the snippets of videos of what we did on the weekend all randomly and unedited I care about you I hope you are okay keep your journal going of what you're grateful for what your goals are what you've learned and what you do differently and consider consider coming on this journey with meditation. I'll talk to you more about it. 
but I'm going to meditate every day for a minimum of an hour for six months. Love you dearly. Please subscribe. Be well. So the exhibition to see Tian's and Xanthi's work is really, really exciting. So we're going to drive into the city now. It's a long drive, so everyone needs to be good. Are you all excited?